What up, though, man? It's DOC, man, from Double HM. I've been getting a lot of requests on my Twitter page and, you know, and, and a few other comments on the other reviews I've done. Um, and just word around just on the, um, the Calico against the Loaded Lux. And, like, who really won? Now, and this is just everything is just my opinion. Nothing is facts, you know what I'm saying? I do these reviews just to get other people's um, thoughts excuse me, on uh on how they view that particular um battle, but me personally, it's hard to say. You know what I mean? My thing is I don't wanna come off bias in any type of way. People gonna agree, some people are gonna disagree. That's fine with me. But you know, it's three rounds in each battle. You know, we're gonna to totally exclude the props the gimmicks and everything, which was all genius on Lotus Lux's behalf because it all made what he was saying once he, you know, finally got out what he was saying. It made it more impactful because of the gimmicks and stuff, which at the end of the day, that helped pushes the crowd forward. But at the end of the day, it takes away from, in my opinion, it just takes away from the core of battling. But I think it do need to be in their contracts. Uh These rappers need to let them know, like, you know, you can't allow no one to use projectors and all this stuff when I'm not thinking of that. I'm just thinking of writing my bars, blah, 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 because then that's when the whole battle scene is going to get watered down. But you know what I'm saying? To me, honestly, it was a super battle, a classic. It's three plus million views strong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, still going, people still checking on it to this day because you got a lot of rappers, battle rappers that still making reference to it. You, in the Charlie Clips against, um, Sue Surf battle, you've seen Charlie Clips, you know, use some of the format a little bit. I don't know, I can't remember if it was the second or third round when he was talking about the funeral and kind of format a loaded Lux. And I don't want that to get watered down quick and people to automatically think just because you spitting like loaded Lux that you automatically kill it. You know, it's something that I thought about prior to making this, you know what I'm saying? Because I've been checking out the dude, um, Chilla Jones, you know, which is a killer. You know what I'm saying? He he doing his thing. And one thing that I hear Chilla Jones talk about is people using filler in their raps, using a whole bunch of bars that really is not talking about anything. Even though they rhyming, but they're not talking about anything. Now, I say all that to say, just to get back to the Calico versus Loaded Lux. Me personally, I think everybody know first round, you choke, you automatic, you, you choke to the point where you don't recover, you automatically lose that round. So for everybody talking about loaded lux, three of them, it's no way possible that this show that you dick riding. Um, but, um, Calico won the first round. Me, honestly, second round, you know, it was cool. Both both of them came out there, did his thing. But honestly, I kind of feel like if you go back and really just watch Loaded Lux second round, the same things that he was doing as far as his body movements and gestures, I think he was kind of forgetting some of his stuff as well then because it was almost a 30 to 40 second gap somewhere up in there where he, he was playing off the crowd reaction and, you know, saying, I, we got all night, we got all night. And he was looking in the sky, rubbing his head like he was trying to really put his verses together. I think he recovered a little bit better from that choke than his first one where he totally get, gave up. But he did come back. Now, I said all that about Chilla Jones for the simple fact. He was spitting and rhyming his ass off. He was spitting and rhyming his ass off. But to me, some of that shit was filler. It wasn't until Low Deluxe third round where he actually just totally attacked Calico. You know what I'm saying? So me saying that, I feel like, I kind of feel like, well, that would give the first two rounds to Calico. And my thing is, even though your third round was excellent, like, the best performance, and I'm from Detroit, you know what I'm saying, just to put that out there. But after watching that third round, I was like, damn, he ripped the soul out that nigga because he hit him from an angle that nobody was expecting. One for him to come with, and then that most rappers do not come with by flipping it up and getting off the tough thug stuff and really, you know what I'm saying, y'all know where I'm going with this. So totally hands down, he won that third round. But I can't say just because his third round was so phenomenal that that makes him totally win the battle. I seen this interview with DNA the other day, 
we were talking about, he know, whatever Calico feel inside of what people say. What's his name? Uh, Calico know he lost that. But my thing is about what? One battle rapping do not have official um, judges, which I think after that battle, that should prompt them to make them want to get some type of judging system. Because I honestly, it's hard to say. I think at the end of the day, it's going to be a lot of money riding on them doing a rematch. Now, that needs to be done. I think the fans, whoever read this, me hear this, need to put pressure on Smack, um, you know, by tweeting them at Smack White at URL TV and start requesting to see a uh, Loaded Lux versus Calico rematch for the simple fact. Me, if I go by three round standards and who won each round, Cal I give Loaded Lux definitely round three, Calico definitely, re definitely round one and Round two is debatable. It's debatable. Honestly, you know, I could lean towards Calico because majority of his second round was devoted directly at Lux. He was still getting some type of crowd participation. But I feel like after Lux got started getting his bars off, the crowd was leaning towards more more towards him. I don't like to just totally get into the whole bias thing because Don DeMarco was just going nuts over shit that Loaded Lux was saying and and it wasn't like he was just spitting some super hard stuff when DeMarco was just back there going crazy with all the sound effects and at the end of the day I think that was throwing Loaded Lux off because Loaded Lux wanted to come in there and straight spit his bars but with the crowd reaction to Don DeMarco slowing him up it was making him forget his stuff because his bars were so complex you know I can give it up and I can salute a person his bars was complex but that's why I mentioned the Chilla Jones stuff because I'm like some of the stuff that he was saying was not always attacking him he was just rhyming a whole bunch of words which they consider that filler so at the end of the day I just feel like that's a toss up and they need to do a rematch and get some type of form of a um, judging system for big matches like that because I don't want to just say it was 2-1 Calico because I know hella people going to just be like, oh, man, no, that's some bullshit. But I just can't just necessarily say it was 2-1 Loaded Lux either for the simple fact he choked that first round. The second round, he was kind of choking up. He was playing it off it. And, you know, all, some of the filler that was in it. But I definitely give him that third round. But I want to get y'all opinions and y'all tell me what y'all think about it. And, um. The salute hit me up just like a lot of people have been doing. They've been following all of our Twitter pages, but you can just Google Hella Hot Magazine or look at at Hella H E L L A Hot Hot H O T Mag M A G, and you know just follow the movement. You know what I'm saying to get involved in the conversation. You know what I'm saying we got a few thousand people that's been following, sending their reviews, sending their music, you know everything in. So you know just keep in tune with us and let us know what's going on. Real talk.